Hey guys, Dylan from How Balance here, and today I'll be bringing you a food plot vlog. So, I think my plan on for the vlogs that I put out would be like all like a preseason vlog. So I'm gonna make this a series of like all the preseason stuff I do for hunting and make it a whole series for that. But other than that, let's get to what we're gonna get to on today. So the plan is today is that we're gonna make a food plot in the back of my woods. So off the camera, I already started the process of clearing out uh, the food plot. So the one section I already got done is where I used to bait my deer. So off to my left is the section that is now complete of clearing out. And so what all I have left to do of clearing is this section off to my right. And we're going to probably go probably about five yards into this and clear all this little shrubs and saplings out of here and we'll be done with the clearing part and then after that we will be uh, taking a rake and cleaning out all the sticks and uh, leaves out and get that out of the way and after that we'll get the push mower and cut down uh, the stuff that I didn't cut close enough down to the ground and like all the, like this uh, prickers and get that out of the way and then I think uh, it's not supposed to rain for a couple days so I'm going to in a couple days when it's supposed to rain, I'm going to come back out, disturb the dirt with a steel rake, and then plant the clover. So that's going to be the goal for this vlog. Um, yeah, it's our plan. Anyways, um, so since I've explained what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to start continuing what I already started and uh, get her done. So stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, we are now done with cleaning out this boot plot. Um, just really swept my balls off doing that. I'm just drenched right now. But, she is done. All we have left is to plant. So whenever we have rain coming up, I'll plant right before and hopefully she'll grow. But right now, this is the finished product. She's not too shabby, but it's a small one. Don't get me wrong on that. I think that was, we were going for that anyways. I mean, there wasn't really much we could do because, uh, look over here, but right behind me, here, it's pretty much our only open canopy and just leaving it. And I didn't want to plant over my other old food plot, which is now a bedding area that has some openness, op openness, what an open canopy over there. But I didn't want to disturb the bedding area, so. But it's like really close, and I don't really usually bed when I'm in there. I think it's like a nighttime thing, but. Anyways, I'm just kind of keeping it since I did seem some deer bedding last year, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it and let them use it for however they want. I mean, it's natural forage over there, too, so. There could be some, like, natural flowers now that they can eat, but. Anyways, again, we're gonna plant clover in here next time it rains, and. Get down and film, and then that will be the end process of this. So let's just uh, play, pray for a rain, and uh, hope she grows. Hey guys, it's currently June 7th, and it's been about a week, week and a half since after we planted. Um, the clover is actually growing, growing very well right now. Um, it's at a height of about an inch, inch and a half right now, and um, it's grown pretty thick right now. Um, I'm impressed by what it's done so far just for after a week of planting. It's just doing phenomenal right now. So 
Um, I'm hoping within, I don't know, maybe within the next month it's pretty much at its full potential. If not, we'll have to add some fertilizer in it, but I'll probably add fertilizer in it anyways. I have some like jolt fertilizer that I got from one of my older food plots that I tried planting, so I'm going to try that, see if that will help the uh, growth of this, and see what happens if this doesn't do any, or if it, I'll plant that, or I'll spray that if like it doesn't grow as well as I want it to be, but for right now, it's doing really good right now. I'm impressed by what it is, so we're going to leave it and just let it do its thing, and hopefully attracts a deer, but um, I'm going to wait on checking the chill camera until this is pretty much like fully grown, and then once it's fully grown, then I'll check the camera and see what's going on in here, but right now, just happy that this is growing, and it's doing its things. Um, you can tell that this food plot is not very big. It's only around like 15 yards long and like 5 yards wide, so it's pretty much the definition of a poor man's food plot, which pretty much what we were going for. Um, at this point, we're just trying to attract more deer to this property. Um, recently, this from like past years, we've only attracted doe and not very much of bucks. Um, and if we did, they weren't like really big. So I'm hoping um, with the clover, it will potentially attract more doe, which in return, more bucks. But we'll just have to see what happens. But this will also give them a little bit better of a food source than just giving them corn. This will also save my wallet for spending 20 bucks a week on just corn. So there's that. But for right now, that's that. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this summer, I'll keep you updated on the progression of this food plot and let you know how it's doing throughout the summer. Let you know like your consistency and what's coming in and out of here. But for now, that is it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's anything else you want us to do in our future vlogs, let us know in the comments below. All right, see you later. Peace.